we, we maintain our positive view on two specific sectors within the U.S. One is the communication services, and the other one is con consumer discretionary, where we do believe that the Fed, um, having so far been pretty good since December 2021 to capture the turn of inflation and quieten market expectations, um, may start their cutting of interest rates but in Q2 rather than Q1. We don't think that they will rush to cut rates by March, we think it's most likely to happen in May. They'd rather wait and see just a couple more numbers on the unemployment rate, which, as you saw, has been surprising to the downside, um, despite the, the tight uh, monetary policy. So I think they will not rush. However, the overall environment still seems to be quite constructive for um, a, a resilient um, economy. Thanos, how bumpy is it going to get, though, to the rate-cutting scenario? Because at this point, we've responded to a Fed pivot. But is there going to be bad data for us to try and weather? Is it going to be a market that responds to positive messages around rate cuts? I mean, how do you think that sentiment plays out over the next few months in 2024? I think that's a great question, Karen, and I should have, should have addressed it um, earlier. The key point for us and, and where we sort of disagree, if you like, with the markets is not about the when. Uh, we do see that if the under underlying inflationary pressures are contained and unemployment remains relatively stable, we can see a cut because we are in super tight territory. What we don't agree with with the markets is the extent of rate cuts by year and next year. So we don't see... 150 basis points of rate cuts in 12 months' time. Why? Because this would assume one of two scenarios. Number one, it would assume a hard landing, which we don't see happening. Secondly, we see inflation going back down to the 0 to 2% level, which again, we don't see as happening because of a number of structural underlying factors. So this is where we disagree with markets, and hence, we could see some shift in expectations and market commentary to address and bring markets back in line with expectations from the Fed. That's on the economic side. Separately from that, of course, we're going to be having a number of geopolitical and political developments which could create um, turbulence and, and some waves into the new year.